I'm John Bennett, Roll Call's White House correspondent. This week, many lawmakers on Capitol Hill had a single question, other than when can we leave after we pass a stop gap spending bill, and that was where is the White House? Senate Majority Whip John Cornyn, for instance, said the White House was absent from talks toward that stopgap, and Senate Foreign Relations Committee Chairman Bob Corker said the White House was nowhere to be seen despite him putting up flares asking for meetings on the so-called 9-11 bill, which is now the 9-11 law, after both chambers overrode Obama's veto. Uh, Corker says he was asking for meetings with the White House to work on changes uh, to the bill. He had some of the same concerns as Obama. Corker contends that never happened. Sparks flew late this week when Obama's top spokesman uh, took to the White House briefing room podium and basically accused Corker of lying about not talking to the White House, which is uh, a rarity even in this era of dysfunction. You usually don't hear uh, folks say things like his comments just were not true. Josh Ernest said that. Um, that does not bode that well for JASTA Talks. That's the, the, the name of the bill, the 9-11 bill, uh, going forward. Corker says he would still like to make some changes, tack on an amendment uh, to another vehicle uh, before they get out of here before the end of the year. Uh, the White House says it will have those talks, but relations yet again are very, very icy. Speaking of icy relations, the White House stayed out of, for the most part, uh, talks on the continuing resolution that avoided a government shutdown. But as we look ahead to December, uh, big questions on what the White House strategy will be. It worked this time. Congress passed a bill that the president uh, signed on Thursday afternoon relatively smoothly. There was a little bit of drama, but the White House stayed out of it. They were kind of plugged in through Harry Reid and Senate Democrats. Uh, the problem in December with that strategy, the bill will have to be much bigger. It will have to spend a, a lot larger amount of time, and there will be there will be no election to give lawmakers an incentive to get out of town smoothly and avoid the blame game of a shutdown or something close to a shutdown. Uh, so the White House may have to get more involved in December, and as we've seen in the past, things can get really rocky when congressional Republicans and President Obama try to negotiate anything.